Hey everyone. My name is Christopher Kwai. I'm the Director of Information Security at GTI, and I'm also a board member with Cannabis ISAO. Today, we're talking about getting everyone on board with best practices for 360 security and how to keep your team secure. So the first part of it, there's really three parts. The first is know your culture, KYC. So if you're familiar with banking, you're familiar probably with that acronym as know your customer. So same applies to us here at Information Security. First part of that is engaging the business where they are. You want to understand what your business's priorities and goals are. What is the tone from the top? How are they discussing things? How are all the teams engaging with each other in order to make sure that you, when your message comes down, that it aligns to that as best as possible. So it sounds like there's one voice coming from the business. Second part of that is attuning to the goals and priorities as mentioned. So making sure that if there is a goal to your business that you can align to information security, that you do so and make sure that it connects. So whether that be your company's values, whether that be the goals of the year, whether that be the overarching priority, you want to make sure to align it the best you can. And the last part to that is finding opportunities to fit security. So again, when you take all that into effect, you're like, all right, how can I best present this? So when you're talking about, for instance, securing things in a retail environment, how does it matter to the end user? How does it matter to the customer that they're engaging with? And making sure that we find those opportunities to fit it in, not just in like a, a corny, jokey fashion, but making sure that they understand that security is part of the business's culture, just like everything else. And that putting it front and center next to you know the safety of folks and everything else you actually are able to maintain a more secure environment the second part to this is establishing an approachable team and really establishing an approachable team is going to make or break your ability to be successful in a business in order to establish an approachable team there are four things that i've done in my career uh, that I want to share with you. And the first is accessibility means offering multiple ways for people to reach out to your team and making sure, especially that that is anonymous. So even though we may be an in information security, people will see us as people who are looked up to for ethics, who are looked up to for HR matters sometimes. So making sure you provide an anonymous source, even if your HR already provides it can be critical to making sure that you're getting the information you need. So reducing any friction that's possible in order to reach out your team is critical to making you approachable. The second is encouragement. When you're engaging with folks, you want to maintain an empathetic and supportive tone. A lot of IT professionals, a lot of InfoSec professionals are also seen, commonly seen as like the, the folks that say no. You don't want to be that. You want to make sure that if, like, say, someone uh, doesn't understand something or anything else, support them. Be encouraging to them. Do whatever you can to help them understand and don't be judgmental on it. And that kind of leads to point number three, which is education. You want to avoid blame or finger pointing and focus on what the takeaways are if you want to have success. So if let's say someone clicks a phishing link or let's say they do something wrong with their password, talk to them about how they could do it better. Again, maintaining that empathetic and supporting tone while doing so. And not, you know, especially if they're blaming themselves, try to discourage that. Try to let them know that this does happen to anyone and it really does. And that, hey, it's totally okay. We're all in this together. And at the end of the day, that how you respond to people in the encouragement and education will help the continuous feedback loop that you need. And will also ensure that when something goes on, people are confident enough to reach out to you and tell you what's going on so that way your team can respond quickly and appropriately to any situation and you won't have to worry about did you get all the information did you uh did you get the right details in general did you get it in a timely manner so that way you can help protect the business and the user the last part to that is collaboration you want to collaborate where you can across the business on projects or when introducing policies or governance even if those people may not have much influence on it, by bringing them in as part of the process, you're seeing how the business is going to react in an early stage 
so that when it actually does get presented or when it's officially published, you actually have a group of champions that you probably didn't have before that are like, hey, yeah, I've, I've integrated with information security. They told me about these policies coming through. They asked for my feedback. I think this is really good. And it helps encourage adoption, helps encourage enforcement. Overall, very awesome. So again, accessibility, encouragement, education, and collaboration. Those are your four key things for making an approachable team. And then the last component is connecting the dots for folks, right? So when we're engaging with people, say in regular security awareness training, or even if we have to educate on that, educate them on different situations, there are three key things we want to do. First is relate the business security to personal security. There's very few things in our business worlds that do not translate in some way, shape, or form to someone's personal life. So making sure that their information stays off the internet, making sure that they use strong passwords, making sure they use password uh, managers like Bitwarden or other similar solutions is critical for them to be secure at home and also at work. The second part there is sharing neutral guidance or resources as much as possible. So let's say even if your company has a BYOD program, for instance, Share out that, hey, Apple just came out with a recent zero day and that we need to address it or that you need more. You want them to update their phones and why it's important, even if maybe they don't have business resources on their phone, still be that resource to them and let them know that these this is coming up and that this is what they need to take action on and make it as simple to understand as possible. Again, this will build your credibility with the business, it builds your credibility with the end users or your clients and make sure that they see you as a subject matter expert or your team and that they will reach out to you in those times of need. And finally, avoid fear, focus on the awareness of things. It can be very easy as we discuss things in information security, where even as we share them, they may come off as fearful, even though we don't intend them to be. Fear, uncertainty, and doubt are one of the biggest uh criminals to effective communication so you want to make sure that you avoid those as much as possible and still instead focus on what the end user needs to understand focus on what the business needs to understand how does this impact them what is the challenge that they need to do and how do we need to go from here to make sure that they remain secure or if they've made a mistake what do they need to do to be able to correct it and with that those are the three points that I want to share with you. So I want to thank you for your time. Feel free to reach out to me on Mastodon or via email or on the website. On that, have a great day.